determine where the roller straps will be located on the door. On the back of the roller strap, measure down 3 quarter inch from the outside diameter of the roller. Measure from this line to the center of the bottom fastener hole. Transfer this measurement onto the door. Align the roller strap to the mark on the door. Using a VIX bit, pre-drill the hole for the fastener. Align the roller strap and fasten to the door. Proper location of the roller strap will allow the rail to pass between the roller and the top of the door with a 3 32nd inch gap in between. Align the handle on the door in the desired location. Using a VIX bit, pre-drill the hole for the fastener. Secure the handle using the fasteners provided. Mark the location on the door for the flush mount pull. Be sure to make room for the door overlap in the opened and closed positions. Router out the door to the depth of the pole. Install the pole with the provided nails. Measure for the rail bracket installation. Location for the top of the bracket is desired gap between door and floor, typically about a quarter inch, plus door height, plus one and a half inches. Mark this location on the door frame or wall. Using a quarter by 20 tap and hand drill, tap the ends of the rail for the end caps. Install one of the end caps. Slide the brackets onto the rail. Lift the rail into place, align the top of the brackets to the desired mark, and pre-drill holes for the bracket fasteners. Fasten one end bracket then using a level, align the rail and fasten the rest of the brackets to the header. Slide the door onto the rail from the open end. And install the end cap. Center the door in the opening. and mark on the door trim the location of the door. Apply the door bumper onto the door stop. Set the door in the closed position and align the door bumper to stop the door in this position. Mark the location of the door stop on the trim, pre-drill the holes, and fasten the door stop using the fasteners included in the door stop kit. Secure the center guide to the trim using the fasteners included in the center guide kit. This guide should capture the door in the fully opened and fully closed position. Align the other door stop and fasten to the trim using the same method as the other door stop. This completes the installation of the QuietGlide Rolling Barn Door Hardware.